Hey, it's Joe Vibo here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Minecraft TNT duplication machine. This is in Java Edition on 1.15, so if you're running a different version of Minecraft, don't go down in the comment section saying this doesn't work. It's probably because you're in a different version of Minecraft. And if you like this video, hit that like button. You can subscribe and check out my other content. Maybe while you're stuck inside because of COVID-19, you could watch my other videos. Um, if you have any ideas or different kinds of videos I can make, feel free to comment down below. Or if you have any questions, leave them down there as well. So how this works is it takes advantage of a glitch that's already in Minecraft. And um, the coral, because coral is new, hasn't been made perfectly. And it's going to fuzz up with the detected rail. As you can see, it both makes the computer think that you've lit the TNT and also makes it not think that you've lit the TNT. So it's dropping a TNT that's lit while at the same time not lighting the actual TNT. So it costs absolutely nothing because you can just keep dropping bombs out of the sky and mining downwards and you can break the whole machine afterwards and have all of your stuff back. And one super sweet use for this I'll be showing in my next video is you can attach this to a flying machine and use it to just clear out large areas of land when and it'll save like hours of time if you want to clear out a big area just by dropping down bombs that end up costing you absolutely nothing. So here's what you're going to need to build it. You're going to need six slime blocks, one wall of any kind, a TNT, and a dead coral fan, doesn't matter what kind of coral, just a fan, a detector rail, a mine cart, sticky piston, and then building blocks, and then either a button or a lever to activate it. It depends on what you want to be doing. And now to start building it, you're going to go to your slimes. You're going to put them in the shape of a right angle, three of them, making a little L. And now you're going to take out your cobblestone wall, put it on top, underneath it TNT, and then the coral next to it. So they're also going to be in the shape of an L. Now you're going to make another slime block L right behind this one. It's going to be one higher and one back. Put the rail with the minecart on it. You want it to be facing this direction so that the minecart doesn't fall off when stuff starts moving. Now behind here, we're going to take our building block and put our sticky piston facing into this. And this right here is what the completed product is going to look like. Now all we need to do is take that button or uh, lever, stick it right here on this block. And whenever you push slash flick, there it goes. Bye bye chest. And at each and every single time I push this button, I can just spam click it if I want it. And then it's going to keep dropping that TNT straight down. And now one other thing that you can do with this that's a lot of fun is if you set up a redstone clock right here behind it, then you can make this whole digging completely automatic and you don't have to be pushing any buttons or flicking levers the whole time. Let's put this right here and it's just going to constantly be raining down explosives. It's a lot of fun to watch. Um, it's especially fun. You can do this above water and if there's whenever fish come underneath it, they'll just die. So you can actually use it for a food farm if you really want to. It's not very efficient. And then this works very well for mining and it's just a lot of fun to do so if you like this video please leave a like comment what i should do next and please consider subscribing